Hi friends, welcome back to the channel, All Things Keto with Kelsey. I'm Kelsey, and today I wanna to share with you some of my top tips to help me get through an extended fast. Um, first of all, I wanna put it out there that I am not a healthcare professional. Um, I'm not a doctor, I'm not giving you medical advice. Um, when I talk about fasting, I am just simply telling you my experience with fasting and what helps me get through it. Please talk to your doctor about fasting before you do that just because I'm doing it. Um, make sure that you make a well-informed decision on um, beginning your fasting journey. I highly recommend it for you know most people, but you know you and your doctor knows you best. So uh, don't do anything that you are not comfortable with. Um, just because I am a supporter of fasting. So let's get on to the video. There are a lot of reasons why I try to fast regularly. Autophagy, weight loss, boosting my immune system, um, fat loss really. And honestly, I think it helps my back. It helps my, clears up my skin. Um, it resets my gut. Uh, there are so many benefits to fasting. Right now, I'm just gonna kinda go through a really quick list of things that help me get through a fast. There are about three categories of tips. Number one is stay hydrated. Number two is stay busy. And number three is stay out of the kitchen. Before I start a fast, um, when my head is on straight, I try to make sure that I prepare um, meals ahead for my family. So whether that means I'm just gonna pull things out of the freezer and put it in the oven or um, do peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for the kids. Um, yeah, I keep it simple so that I can just cook it and put it on the table, clean it off and be done. It's as fast as possible. I can't not feed my family when I'm fasting, but I can make it simple. So there's not a lot of work, not a lot of prep. I don't have to taste things because it's already cooked. That's one of my biggest tips. So prep ahead. And if you're not meal prepping ahead, at least meal plan. So have an idea of what you're doing. Don't think about what am I hungry for? That kind of thing. Just don't make yourself think about what your family is going to eat while you're starving. I like to stay out of the kitchen when I'm doing, when I'm fasting. I, you know, don't hang around the pantry where all the snacks are. Don't be, you know, looking in the fridge every couple hours. Just stay out of the kitchen unless it's meal time and you have to feed your kids. Staying hydrated. There are a couple of things with staying hydrated. So typically I'll have one packet of Element, um, which I have a link in the description if you would like to get your first order and a free sample pack with that, um, but please check that out. But um, I have two packets of Element when I'm doing um, a fast and I add Keto Chow electrolyte drops to them, mineral drops to it, and I add iodine. So those are how I drink my electrolytes. I drink lots of water. I'm always drinking a big, glass of water, a big jar of water, or I have my stainless steel water bottle that I have my electrolytes in or with ice, whatever. Um, definitely stay hydrated. I drink two hot drinks during my fast. I will drink Earl Grey tea, unsweetened, no cream. Um, and I also drink black coffee with salt in it. And I can you do just regular salt or sometimes I will put a chocolate element packet in if I feel like I'm just really wanting something that tastes different than salt and that is really good um, and I've gotten used to it in the black coffee and that tastes really good. Under the stay busy category one of the things that I'd like to do is I like to get a big list of things of things that I'd like to organize and I just pick a big project that I'd like to complete by the end of the fast and I do it or I clean my house you know clean a room top to bottom or something like that just get a project list and just stay on task. I get most of my laundry folded when I am on a fast because it's just easy to ignore everything else and um, fold my laundry. So this next one is a little bit controversial in the fasting world. I chew sugar-free gum during a fast. So the act of chewing just kind of keeps me distracted from wanting food and the peppermint just makes me feel like my mouth is clean. The keto doctors uh, will say that sugar-free gum will produce an insulin spike because um, it tricks your body into thinking that you're eating something sweet. Um, I don't measure my insulin. I don't know if it really does cause that. It doesn't seem to bother my glucose numbers or my ketone numbers. I keep gum in my day-to-day -day 
habit because it helps me keep from eating food. I also try to brush my teeth so that um, I feel like my mouth is clean. It's kind of same thing as chewing gum. Just kind of reminds me that I don't want to eat anything to mess up my clean teeth. If I'm getting bored and I'm starting to look through the pantry, I sometimes I will go for a walk or I'll do a light yoga um, practice and just um, do something that will feel like um, it's just putting the food thoughts in the back of my mind. Um, so focus on something else, get out of the house, get out of the kitchen, uh, make sure you're getting some fresh air, sunshine, just go away from the kitchen. You don't need to be there anyway if you're not trying to eat. Another thing I like to do to help with my electrolytes and staying hydrated is I like to do an Epsom salt bath. Uh, usually this is at the end of a long day of fasting and saying no to food and my kids are in bed and my husband's, you know, watching a show or something and I'm just like, you know, I I really could use a bath and I need the relaxation and the hot Epsom salt water just really calms me down and sometimes my um, muscles are starting to cramp a little bit and so that just helps get a good boost of magnesium into the muscles so that you're relaxed and calm for a good night's rest. Last but not least, I actually have a couple of sheets of paper where I have typed up all of the benefits that are included in certain hours of fasting. So for example, like after 17 hours, autophagy can begin. Um, and then like around 24 hours, your gut has already reset. Around 36 hours, you're starting to um, really be into autophagy. Um, and your cells start regenerating and then around like 48 hours you um, are resetting your dopamine receptors and then like 78 uh, 72 hours um, you're helping your immune system and you're fighting um, major inflammation and just fighting off disease so when I am tempted to quit my fast because I'm just tired and I want to eat something and I, I don't want to fast anymore, I am trying to get into the habit of taking that list and writing down all of the benefits that I will get if I get to my 48 hour mark or my 36 hour mark or whatever my goal is for that time. And just the act of pausing and writing those things down um, it does two things. It says wait to your, you know, your desire for food or you're pausing um, the process of getting something to eat, but then you're doing something with your hands by writing down benefits of fasting. And by the time I've gotten through the whole list of benefits that I'm getting from being in this fast, I've reminded myself, no, this is worth it. It is worth it to keep going. I'm going to keep doing this for my health, for my immune system, for my mental health, my physical health, um, and all those things. So that's kind of a method that I've been trying to implement into my daily life when I'm fasting for longer periods of time, and it's actually proven to be very helpful. So these are my top tips on how to stay on a fast when I'm trying to do an extended fast. Um, if there's anything that you would add to the list, comment below. I'd love to know what gets you motivated to stick with your fast when you are trying to do a longer fast. Um, and what is your favorite electrolytes? How do you take your electrolytes? I'd love to know. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it encouraged you to try fasting again, smash that like button. I'd love to know. And as always, I hope wherever you're at today, you're having a great day and we'll see you soon, friends.